Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're diving back into some more B2B content. Um, I believe this is the final performance um, from the Kingdom competition that they did. Um, and if I'm wrong, you guys can let me know. You can check my B2B reaction playlist. The link will be down in the description. You can look through there and see if uh, there's any that I missed, but I think this is the last one. Uh, or at least according to Wikipedia, this is the last one. Um, yeah, so it is a song, Show and Proof. I don't know if this is their song or if it's a cover. I don't know what this song is. I know absolutely nothing about this, but I know that I've enjoyed every performance that I've seen from them thus far on this series, and they've been fantastic competitors. I don't know how the other bands have done. I've watched a couple of the Stray Kids performances. I need to go back and, you know, finish theirs, and I'll go back and watch ATs, and then I'll probably go through and watch the other bands. I'm just starting with the bands that I'm already familiar with. Um, but yeah, I've enjoyed everything they've done. They've given me fantastic vocals, fantastic staging, fantastic visuals, the, uh, the production quality of some of these um, performances, the cinema version that we reacted to um, last time, and then uh, what was the Blue Moon, I think, that I reacted to a couple weeks back. Oh my god, stunning, stunning performances. Um, Backdoor, everything, loved. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive into this and just see how the boys finished out the competition. B2B's finale performance will be starting in a moment. Please take your seats. Oh, my sweetie. Y'all gonna come through with all the dances and all the production quality. around by these boys while you belt him. Oh, 
transition. That's right. Give them the accolades they deserve. I was getting so many different vibes from the musical arrangement, the vocal arrangements, and I loved it. So like at first, the intro was giving me very like Greatest Showman. This is the greatest show. Very Hugh Jackman presentational, that kind of vibe. And I was like, okay, this is fun. This is fun. And it, you know, it fits because it's like the grand finale. And this is like a big like showcase. So like it, it fits. Um, but then once we got past that sort of like introductory part and we had um, Yunk Wong and Cheng Sub singing together they were singing very very low so low in volume um very you know low in intensity well no low in volume but not low in intensity like they had this nice i think it was Cheng sub who was on the bottom harmony who was holding down like this bass line and then yun kuang um doing like an upper harmony on top of it or it was flip well, it was one of those who obviously there's only two of them um who were singing at that particular point but either way i loved the bass line of that that harmony it was just mm, magically delicious um but i loved how just low in volume it was but like the intensity in the intensity in their gaze the intensity in their intent while singing was there so even though they were singing very quietly as far as volume goes I could still feel the the power, the angst, the mm, just I could feel everything behind what they were saying. So even though the volume was quiet, they still had that same sort of just like intensity in their delivery. And I'm like, ooh, yes. Um, but once we got to that part where they were kind of doing this like little duo harmony part, like it was giving me very the music and their vocals were giving me very sort of Linkin Park vibes, and then we switched gears over to um, Min Hyuk doing his rap part, and then again, that was giving me even more Linkin Park vibes, you know, going kind of back and forth between this nice, beautiful singing to a little bit more rock edge in the music, and then over to this rap, this nice collaboration between the singing and the rap and like the rock, um, beautiful, this beautiful synergy. Um, it was giving me very Linkin Park vibes, and I, I love it. Love, 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 love. Um, then we switched gears over to... No, we had some more singing. Then we switched over to Peniel, and he was doing his rap thing. And then we came back for a big... Y'all, they were running all over the damn place. I don't I don't know. I'm assuming that they did this all in, like, one take. But, you know, maybe they did multiple takes. I don't know. But they were running all over the damn place because one minute, Yung Kwong is being lifted by this you know, this harem of boys who's just spinning him around in the sky, and then 10 seconds later, he's sitting on, he's standing on top of a box, on top of a platform. 15 seconds later, he's over here across the stage, come, being revealed behind these doors, like, and then this other part, Min Hyuk's on these stairs, he's rapping, the next thing you know, he's over, like, they are if this performance was done all in one take, one performance, they are running all over the goddamn stage. They are, that or they're teleporting. I don't know, but they, they, I don't know how they're navigating the stage, y'all. Um, and then at one point, when Min Hyuk came back and he was singing this time around, um, 
there was some parts there, like some of the lower ends of the notes, that felt like a, either he was a little out of breath or like they might have been a little too low for him at that particular moment in time, which, A, I appreciate because I'm like, okay, they're singing live. B, I'm like, okay, this just kind of helps support my theory of they're running their asses all over this goddamn stage because my poor baby out here, you know, yes, he can still sing amazingly. And, you know, the fact that he can sing and breathe while doing all this stuff is insane. But clearly, clearly he felt a little out of breath at that particular moment. So I'm like, OK, maybe he did just get done running over here to get to this platform on time and whatnot. So some of those lower notes weren't quite um, as well supported as they could have been. But, you know, his head voice, gorgeous. All of them have beautiful head voices. Um, I really appreciate Ching Sub throughout watching this because I already knew Yun Kuang had a beautiful voice. I've seen that um, when because before I even got to reacting to all of these performances, I reacted to um, Love Poem, um, the Love Poem performance. So I knew that his voice was gorgeous. And then from some of the other um, B two B content behind the scenes compilation videos I've reacted to, like I know he has a gorgeous voice. But Cheng Sub, the the tone of his voice when he's in this chest voice is just mm, delicious beautiful vibrato and then his transitions up into his head voice which is absolutely gorgeous both him and yun kuang have these gorgeous head voices um the four of them together make a fantastic quartet and it wasn't until like i had them be like one of my boy bands of the month and i was looking at like some music videos for theirs that i was like oh there was actually like seven or eight members it's not just the four of them but the rest of them were um, doing their i think military service at the time this competition was going out but yeah the four of them make a beautiful quartet um so even if it was just the four of them like i thought it was when i first started reacting to them absolutely beautiful um it, it just shows how professional they are and how amazing they are at their craft that they worked so long at being a however many people they had seven or eight people um, making that band and they're so accustomed to that but they're still able to just like at a moment's notice just drop down to four and just be equally as amazing incredible incredible so yeah this was a great finale performance um, yeah all in all, it was just a great finale performance. I don't know. I don't know who won. I guess it wouldn't hurt to look. I mean, it's a year old at this point. Let's see. Does Wikipedia tell me? When is show? Okay, but who won? Okay, but who won? Wikipedia, tell me. I know people are probably um, screaming right now in the uh, the comment section. They won! They won! But uh, why is Wikipedia not telling me? Or am I just not looking in the right place? No, I don't want to know about the singles that they released after. I just want to know who won. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, it looks like the Stray Kids won. Okay. Oh, B2B came in fourth. Oh, so... Clearly, I gotta go through and watch these other people to see what amazingness they did to take the crown from from my B two B. Because, like I said at the top of this, B two B gave me some incredible performances, vocally and visually. So, if they only made it to fourth place, I'm, I'm, I, I need to like I know the Stray Kids slay some stuff, and I know that he at Stit slay some stuff. I don't know anything about the boys. So I'm gonna have to check them out and see what's 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 because it looks like the boys came in second place. So I, I, I got some learning to do, but yeah, all in all, I, I enjoyed this competition. I don't know if they have plans of doing another one at some point in time, but this, it was a lot of fun. So I will probably dive into the Stray Kids performances of this next because I've already gotten through like two or three of them at this point. So I'll finish out theirs. And then dive into ATs, and then I'll look at some of these others. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications to be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. Um, like I said at the top, if you'd like to see more of my B2B reactions, you can check out my B2B reaction playlist. The link is down in the description. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments. I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love ya. 
And before you guys go, I want to give a huge thank you to everyone supporting me over on Patreon. This channel would not be what it is today without your continued support, and I can't begin to thank you guys enough for all you've done for me. If you'd like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya!